we are off to explore. Today I arrive at the bird ringing station of Istanbul University. It's where scientists and students watch birds, how they migrate, how they live, and where they go. I really hope I can see it all by myself. My name is Besti. Nice to meet you. Do you like this place? The forest, the birds, what do you feel? Yes, I am also very happy to meet you. My name is Noah. There are a lot of birds singing to us here. We'll get to know them a bit, become friends. Are you excited about this? Yes! Let's see. Besti observes flora, participates in bird ringing, and has even studied how plants respond to stress. Besti dreams of saving nature and telling its stories to the world. These are like hotels birds stay in during migration. For example, a bird came here and now we will take it and wait here until it is checked. This is a check we do every hour. And in order to see how they migrate, we need to record them. All the studies we do here provide us with a basic map. We don't need to touch it now because we are not experts at doing this and we don't want to harm it. But we can examine it from a distance. Maybe this is what it eats. Or maybe it's a Yusuf. I don't think you should have done this, but now, let me take it. It might not be safe for us if it's not something birds usually eat. Look, it has a thorn behind it. It may be poisonous. I don't think you should touch it. Therefore, it may be safer for us to leave it now. But in the wild, it could eat it anyway? But since this is a scientific study, eating it now may harm it. Is this net only here or is it all over the forest? There are around 40 nets placed throughout the forest. They're arranged in five rows. Each bird gets caught in one of the nets, like staying in a hotel room. This helps us know exactly where it stayed. Maybe we will go and see where else the birds have been. How beautiful the birds sing! This bird will be picked up in an hour. That is, every hour, specialists come to look and check. There is another bird. There are more birds. There are a million of them. Look, there are three birds. They are beautiful. put these things on pockets with birds. So we can see where the bird, birds catch on the, no, on the down. So we can say how high they fly, or uh -huh. each you know, number where they came from. Nets. Yes. And the height of nets. What are most big birds you catch here? Well, the biggest the are the owls. Her name is Contes. This is basically a ring station. We examine the birds that come here during the migration periods. We check their feathers. 
They have colorful feathers. You can compare these feathers to our clothes. They wear different clothes in summer and different clothes in winter. Wow, can I really go in and check it out? Of course you can go in and check it out. Now our new birds have arrived. Basically, this is what a bird ringing station is like. Why do they put these things in there? Every hour a new check is done. The birds are taken and gently hung here to be examined. We don't leave them on the table, it could be dangerous. Hanging them keeps them safe and makes it easier to study them. If you focus on one bird, you can build a whole database. Their feathers help us know how old they are. Just like us, and some are young, some are older. This one is two years old. Oh, she's too little. I never thought I'd touch a fly catcher. Not just anyone can ring birds. It requires specialized knowledge, experience and official license. Omar Farouk Solek has been working with birds for many years. He has completed the necessary training and obtained the qualifications that allow him to set up nets, handle birds and place rings on them. You can take it in your hand and let it go. Don't hold it too tight. Very gently now. Yeah, like that. And yeah, it was free. Yeah. Is it? There is no? Yeah. Maybe I support you. Is it? Can I take? Yeah. Is it? You like it? Yes. You feel no. this? That's it. We are off to explore. Is this a song, Thrash? We gently blow on the bird's feathers to see under them. Their skin is so thin, we can spot little details, like signs of growing baby birds. Your left hand is like that. Is it a fly catcher? Black cap. Black cap, yes, fly free. It's so beautiful. Is it true that owls fly without noise? The edges of their feathers have tiny fringes that break the air gently. That's why owls can fly without making a sound. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. What's the name of this bird? What it's called? What's this one here? Yes, Winchat. Your left hand like that and you will be free. Is it?
It flew away. Ben bir fotoğraf çekeceğim. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a picture also with my phone. Uh, what kind of bird is this? It's a nightingale. Uh, what are they eat? They eat insects normally, so whatever they can find. Uh, they live next to the plants. They spend their time in big bushes oh. and are very hard to see normally. So do, do you want to move them in? I also met a professional wildlife biologist, Dr. Ergun Bachak. He has been studying ornithology and bird migration for over 20 years. He is one of about 25 people in Turkey with an official bird ringing license. And he teaches at Forestry Vocational School at Istanbul University. Uh, I study which bird species live in our country and their migration routes. We also research the diseases they may carry. Of course, we study which species pass through and which ones stay in these areas. But my interest in birds started when I was seven years old. When I first heard the word ornithology from the encyclopedia, at the age of eight to nine, I said I would be an ornithologist and decided on my profession. For this reason, my childhood dream came true. In the early 2000s, I joined bird monitoring programs. I found that being close to birds, holding them and working with them is even more exciting than just watching them. That's why I joined scientific studies about birds. Uh, I've now been part of these projects for about 10 years. This is an African migratory bird. It is one of the species that migrate in our country during summer months. We have ringed it. Now we will release it into nature. Okay, that's it for now. I couldn't even imagine that I would be able to hold these tiny birds in my hands. They are so light and warm. It was a real miracle. Now I know exactly how scientists learn about the lives of birds, carefully, attentively, with love.